Hello and welcome to another episode of Breaking BSA News. Okay, funding game's over. So I'm on the uh, mailing list from Lucas Distribution and I felt that perhaps the world could do with uh, a bit of analysis of the latest missive which arrived in an email yesterday. Um, talks about delays, talks about various things, appointment of clothing, uh, appointment of um, uh, finances and uh, a few other things. So without uh, further delay, let's dive right into it. Okay, so I had hoped to be using some fancy screen uh, recording software to get this, but uh, hopefully you can see that in front of you. So this is the Lucas Distribution September newsletter and I'll read through it for you and picking up the points as we go. So first of all it says welcome to the September update regarding all things BSA and um, it the first thing on the list is the appointment of some new stores. So uh, their franchise manager has been traveling all about Britain appointing some new stores and I'm very pleased to say that um, several of them are in the southwest. In fact, um, more speed racing down at the bottom of your screen there. You can see that. Let me make that a bit bigger. So, yes. So it's more speed racing there, then moving closer, um, Bridge Motorcycles in Exeter, who I've already visited and did my video, uh, link somewhere up here or at the end of the this um, video. Um, moving closer to uh, the southwest, Thor Motorcycles in Bodmin, they are literally about 10 miles from me. Um, the only negative point there is the it's a sort of multi-franchise dealer, mainly Indian motorcycles. Um, they do focus on the retro stuff, but um, the owner is known to be a, a bit forceful, we might say. However, they're close. Um, further away, Plymouth, um, GT Motorcycles, again, multi-franchise, uh, good setup though, and within riding distance for me, so that would be good if I had it serviced there. Bridge Motorcycles was all the mention. Kidlington, uh, I don't know where that one is, um, but if you, if you live in that part of the world, you know what it is. John's of Romford, so that's the one in the far east there. And Bob Minion Mo Motorcycles of Derby, so that fits into the Midlands. So we're, they're beginning to have a good spread, and I'm really pleased to say that they're actually dealers in uh, this part of the world. So moving further upwards, so this is probably one of the key paragraphs and I'll try and read it out to you. So after we received the unfortunate news from the classic Legends factory that the initial shipments of the Goldie have been delayed, CEO and BSA director Ashish Joshi jumped straight on a plane from Mumbai and visited our Conventry head office last Thursday the 15th of September so only just over a week ago to explain the hold up in person to the distribution team Ashish decided how the factory is geared up to manufacture 800 to 1000 units per month which will be necessary um, for when further distributors are appointed worldwide however he was personally unhappy with the aesthetics of some of the parts delivered to the factory hence these have been returned to the suppliers creating a de delay. Now, what it doesn't go on to say is exactly how long the delay will be. I will make efforts to talk to the various local dealers to see if they have any more inside knowledge. I suspect they won't. Um, however, Ashish wants the bike to be 100% right since it is d his dream project over five years in the making. And he always said from the start that BSA would adopt a quality over quantity approach, which is reassuring uh, with the UK market and is actually essential. I think Ashish has stated that 72 gold stars will be leaving India by the 30th of September. So if you had a couple of weeks on for 
um, transit, um, getting through all the legal bureaucracy, they were expect to receive these at the end of October. So I, I would be a little bit uh, sceptical at the end of October, but certainly out to the dealers towards the end of the year. Of course, that means it's beyond the British riding season. So that probably means the initial take up will be slow. But I don't know how exactly how many pre-orders have been received. So many of those bikes will be going to uh, customers who have already pre-ordered. Hopefully there will be a demo bike at each of the uh, dealers um, who can, you know, so we can all ride them. CEO will also be present at any C motorcycle live to answer any, any questions that customers may have. And I think that's an opportunity I would like to take to grill them a bit more because it's always better to do it in person. Now, um, in terms of which are the um, parts that are not been acceptable, certainly um, there's been some concerns about the shape of the radiator, the design of the switch gear, but is it specific parts? Certainly at the moment we don't know any more than that. Now moving on to the next thing, um, which is also quite good, BSA announces partnership with Merlin Motorcycle Clothing. BSA have cons confirmed that the British company Mo Merlin Motorcycle Clothing will be producing a range of lifestyle clothing and riding gear to ensure you look the part on and off your Goldie. Now I actually own a Merlin jacket and it's really very good, a few minor problems, but then you know you put these things through a pretty hard go certainly uh, I, I would recommend them. Um, you'll find them all over now so hopefully they'll have BSA branding on the jackets which will be nice um, and they have a strong commitment to quality for the value conscious rider. The range will be showcased at our stand from the 15th, 19th of November. So next one Moto Nova Finance so as a finance provider and um, I dare say there'll be other ways of getting financed, but uh, I guess it's helpful to have something that um, is official. If you look through the figures there, you know, this is an 8.9% APR. Bear in mind, we just had a in in massive increase in inflation, so that's all actually below the rate of inflation. Um, yeah, so it's an affordable way of getting on board a BSA bike, which isn't an expensive bike in the first. Um, uh, instance Pro promotion is valid until the 30th of September well that's a week away so that seems like a bit um, a bit sharp uh, next bit of news BSA Bantam Club AGM March 25th um, at the Lucas Distribution Coventry offices and of course BSA Bantam are um, a, a well-known club so yeah that's a, that's a good little thing so next update in a month's time will contain further details about our involvement motorcycle live in november which is a year after the original launch so that's the um that's that's the newsletter let's see what else so just a bit more detail on some of the local dealers um that's thor motorcycles and I'm here at the building. So it's, that's no distance, is it? Really pleased to see that. Go a bit further out. Um, oops, let's go a bit further out. Plymouth, about 40 miles away from me. And then moving further up country, Exeter. Um, still a bit behind with that, but um, yeah, GT motorcycles. So that's dealer locator. Let's go to the um, home page to see if there's been any changes there. And you get the usual running screening nonsense and vainglorious statements of how good they are. I personally find this sort of thing very annoying because when you want to get on the website, what you want to find out is details about the bike, um, how much it costs, what the accessories are, and talking of accessories, so you've got the details about the price, 6,800, insignia red, dawn silver, 
legacy silver sheen midnight black highland green color doesn't seem to change though as you uh, which is a bit of a shame so um, contact details um, and there's a whole lot of nice pictures and comes up with the specification capacity power 45 brake horsepower dry weight wet weight 213 kilograms so it's not a specially light bike by any imaginations fuel capacity is a mere 12 liters but it'll be pretty low uh, consumption so that should take you a good 150 miles or so um, front wheels they're all wire spoke alloy wind rims um, there's all the uh, yeah so a spin round view let's see if we can get it in dawn silver yay so you can view it in all the colors black's probably a good choice isn't it mind you they're all good choices aren't they so there there we are making the gold star and i'm not going to go all the way through the whole website because it's quite a big thing what it doesn't really show is any news about um, accessories and in fact I'm not even sure if it shows service intervals here I'll look that up and add this uh, into the description so there we have it um, update on the BSA few unanswered questions but overall they're making progress and I'm really really pleased to see that there are dealer options near me so I don't have to ride 150 miles. Um, I do wonder what those parts are that they sent back. Certainly, you know, I didn't think the switch gear looked too bad. It perhaps looks a bit basic, I quite like that. And uh, the radiator doesn't really bother me, but let's see what's, what turns up. So I'll keep you posted on this, and especially when I get a notification that there is actually a a demo bike in the dealer which as i think is going to be at least a month away um, but if there's any other things come through certainly the next newsletter will hit at about this time in october and that will give us an idea what we can expect to see on the stand okay so thanks for watching this uh bsa update <laughs> bye for now